Uh, a January 6th question. Um, you have said time and time again that your approach is to move from the bottom up and to uh, go where the evidence leads you. Uh, recently, people have, have uh, uh, posited alternative ways of going about this. One of them is called the hub and spoke notion of sort of targeting a group of people around President Trump and then considering the rioters as one, one spoke and also looking at the the, uh, the elector's scheme is another uh, spoke. Can you just explain to us if there was a decision point early on in which you decided to go the way that you did, why you rejected these other potential paths? And, and, and as a follow, uh, have you seen anything either uh, coming out of Fulton County in uh, Georgia or anything out of the January 6th committee that has moved the investigation in a new direction? So there are a number of assumptions based into the leading question. Um, which I'm very familiar with as a former trial lawyer, but there is a lot of speculation about what the Justice Department is doing, what it's not doing, what our theories are, what our theories aren't, and there will continue to be that speculation. That's because a central tenant of the way in which the Justice Department investigates, a central tenant of the rule of law, is that we do not do our investigations in public. This is the most wide-ranging investigation and, and, and the most important investigation that the Justice Department has ever entered into. And we have done so because this, you know, this effort to uh, upend a legitimate election, uh, transferring power from one administration to another, cuts at the fundamental uh, of American democracy. We have to get this right. And for people who are concerned, as I think every American should be, about protecting democracy, we have to do two things. We have to hold accountable every person who is criminally responsible for trying to overturn a legitimate election. And we must do it in a way filled with integrity and professionalism, the way the Justice Department conducts investigations. Both of these are necessary in order to achieve justice and to protect our democracy. Do you, just one follow-up. Uh, do you think you have enough resources to do that? We know that the budget request that was made earlier this year was not complied with. Do you feel that you need additional resources? The Justice Department would always like additional resources and would be happy to take them, but we are going to uh, uh, accomplish our mission here uh, the people in the Justice Department are committed to this. They are working 24-7 on this. Yeah. We are entering a zone here where if there are charges brought against a former president related to January 6th, DOJ could be accused of playing politics. How is the department, how are you weighing that? Also, do you think that there is a constitutional question involved here about whether you charge a former president for actions allegedly taken during his term? Separately, <laughs> Jalen Walker. Okay. Jalen Walker. I'll answer that okay. one too, but let me answer the first one. Okay. First. Thank you. Okay. Look, no person is above the law in this country. Nothing stops us. Even a former no, I don't know how to. Maybe I'll say that again. No person is above the law in this country. I can't say it any more clearly than that. There is nothing in the principles of prosecution, in any other factors, which prevent us from investigating anyone, anyone who's criminally responsible uh, for for a, 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 an attempt to, to undo a democratic election. Um, now, the other question, Jalen Walker. 